Hello friends, welcome to study to win. In this particular lecture, I will be covering 50 MCQ questions of thermal engineering. This is set 1. So let us start with our questions. First question, in an isolated system, dash dash can be transferred between the system and its surrounding. Answer is neither energy nor mass. There are three kinds of system, open, closed and isolated. In open system, energy and mass both can be transferred in closed system only energy can be transferred and mass cannot be transferred in isolated system neither mass nor energy can be transferred second question transfer of heat by means of current in fluid is termed as it answer is convection there are three modes of heat transfer conduction convection and radiation with convection only there is a transfer of molecule is required conduction and radiation phenomena a heat can be transferred without movement of molecules Third question, how is absolute pressure measured? Answer, absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. Atmospheric pressure is pressure under which we are living and we measure all the pressures with respect to atmospheric pressure. If the pressure is more than atmospheric pressure, we call it as a gauge pressure and absolute pressure is calculated by atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. If the gauge pressure is negative, we call it as a vacuum pressure and that case absolute pressure will be calculated atmospheric pressure minus negative gauge pressure or vacuum pressure. Fourth question, an isobaric process has constant dash dash answer is pressure isobaric process process is nothing but constant pressure process there are other two kinds of process which are called as isochoric process and isothermal process isochoric process is constant volume process isothermal process is a constant temperature process next question what is the relation between the celsius and fahrenheit scale these are the two scales used for temperature measurement relation between these two scales is given as c by 5 is equal to f minus 32 by 9 where c is celsius scale and f is a fahrenheit scale that means if you have a given uh, degree celsius scale then you can put that degree celsius value in this formula and find out fahrenheit uh, value or fahrenheit measure for that particular degree celsius measurement for minus 40 degree celsius both uh, fahrenheit and degree cells uh, degree scales are, shows the same reading our next question sixth question pH value for water permissible for boiler answer is slightly more than 7 a pH value slightly more than 7 means water should be in alkaline nature pH value less than 7 is acidic in nature and pH value equal to 7 is neutral in nature but for boiler pH value is should be slightly more than 7 that means the water should be alkaline in nature what is the relation between brake efficiency internal efficiency and mechanical efficiency the relation is efficient brake efficiency is equal to internal efficiency multiplied by mechanical efficiency eighth question how is the temperature drop of rear gas by throttling answer is very small temperature drop that means for throttling process of real gas a very small temperature drop occurs ninth question heat pump is used answer to transfer the heat into high temperature heat source as the name suggests heat pump it is used to pump heat from low temperature source to high temperature source for heat pump we pump heat from atmosphere and refrigerator is also a kind of heat pump but we don't call it as a heat pump because we pump heat to the atmosphere and from heat pump we pump it from the atmosphere that is the difference between the refrigerator and heat pump next question 10th conventional currents only occurs in liquids and gases I also, as i already said conventional heat transfer requires molecule transfer and molecule can transfer or move in liquid and gases only solid in solid molecules cannot move so conventional current only occurs in liquids and gases 11th question if the temperature of an object is low the rate of infrared radiations will be obviously low it is stephens boltzmann law the radiant energy is directly proportional to fourth power of absolute temperature of object so if the temperature is low radiant energy will be low 12th question air or water which is better conductor of thermal energy answer is water uh, thermal conductivity is directly proportional to the density of substance here comparatively air water is more denser so the answer is water 13th question group that contains more free electron is answer is metal there are three kinds of group one is a metal second non-metal and then there is something called as semiconductors non-metals are uh, not conducted or doesn't contains free electrons uh, semiconductors will be uh, conducting heat at very high temperatures 
फोर्थ क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन प्रोसेस दैट डज नॉट रिक्वायर मीडियम फॉर ट्रांसफर ऑफ हिट इज रेडिएशन अमंग कंडक्शन कन्वेक्शन रेडिएशन ओनली रेडिएशन कैन बी ऑकर्ड विदाउट एनी मीडियम टू ट्रांसफर दैट इज द रीजन वी आर गेटिंग एनर्जी फ्रॉम द सन बिकॉज इन बिटवीन सन एंड अर्थ देर इज ए नो मीडियम इन बिटवीन सो ऑल द एनर्जी दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम द सन इज डू टू ओनली रेडिएशन फिफ्टीन प्रोसेस ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर थ्रू मॉलिकुलर वाइब्रेशन और a free electron diffusion in solid is termed as this is nothing but the conduction principles which they have explained one is the molecular vibration and another is the free electron diffusion 16 question 1 joule is equal to it is very simple question it is newton meter joule is a unit of energy and energy or the uh, energy is nothing but force into displacement so force is newton and displacement is meter so newton meter is unit which is equal to joule One joule. Specific heat of water is 4.187 joule per gram degree Celsius. This is nothing but amount of heat required to raise the one gram water by one degree Celsius. Amount of temperature to be raised for one gram water by one degree Celsius is nothing but specific heat of water. Among all liquids, water has the highest specific heat. Uh, friends, tell me what is the highest specific heat among all? Uh, substance that is liquid solid and gases which has the highest specific heat tell this answer in the comments 18 question an ideal gas at 27 degree celsius is heated at constant pressure till its volume becomes three times the temperature of gas then will be this answer can be calculated using uh, a charles law because this process is a constant press constant pressure process which is governed by charles law so charles law is v1 by t1 is equal to v2 by t2 they have already given the relation between the volumes so v2 is equal to 3 times v1 so you can put these values of t1 v1 and v2 and calculate t2 which will be equal to 627 degree celsius do not forget to con convert the uh, degree celsius into kelvin always do convert the degree celsius values into kelvin before you put in any formula 19th question hyperbolic process is governed by boyle's law hyperbolic process is nothing but pressure into volume is constant is called as hyperbolic process and when temperature is constant we called as a isothermal process so hy hyperbolic process is governed by boyle's law in which we keep the absolute temperature constant and pressure is directly proportional to volume sorry uh, pressure is inversely proportional to volume 20th question a process in which no heat is supplied or rejected from the system and entropy is a constant this process is called as adiabatic process and when the uh, adiabatic process it is reversible process then we also call it as a isentropic process so reversible adiabatic process is isentropic process 21st question in free expansion the work change in energy and heat transfer are always equal to zero so in free expansion there is no work done there is no heat transfer there is no change in energy all are zero 22 question number 22 internal energy of perfect gas depends upon answer specific heat and temperature internal energy formula is equal to mcv delta t where m is a mass cv is a specific heat at constant volume and delta t is a change in temperature so obviously it depends upon specific heat at constant volume and temperature here actually there should be a specific internal energy of perfect gas depends on this answer will be equal to specific heat and temperature because um, internal energy depends on mass also it is intensive property extensive property but specific internal energy is a intensive property let's move towards the 23rd question entropy of water at 0 degree celsius is assumed to be equal to its answer is 0 for 24th question gas turbine works on answer constant pressure cycle it is also called as a breton cycle or joule cycle 25th question temperature of gas temperature of gas is a measure of answer average kinetic energy of a gas molecule 26th question pv to the power n is equal to constant when n is equal to 1 process is called as isothermal process when n is equal to 0 then this term will become 0 then it will be equal p equal to c it is isobaric process and when n is equal to infinity then compared to v the p is very small so v is very large so it is isochoric process and when n is equal to 1 which is asked in the question the answer is isothermal process 
when n is equal to gamma that is adiabatic index we call it as the adiabatic process 27 question Erickson cycle consists of following process Erickson cycle consists two constant pressure process and two adiabatic process friends remember all the processes consist of uh, cycles like Erickson Joule uh, Stirling uh, Carnot Otto uh, diesel and so on this are this is a this is a very important area from which the people ask question in the exam 28th question amount of heat added to gas under isothermal condition is used for answer doing external work since the process is carrying out at constant temperature so there is a no point of increasing the in, there is a no use of heat to increase the internal energy because already the process is isothermal so in change the internal energy is zero so all the heat supplied will be used for doing the external work only 29 question universal gas constant of gas is a product of the answer is molecular mass of gas and gas constant so universal gas constant is equal to molecular mass of gas into gas constant this gas constant is also called as a characteristics gas constant and this is universal gas constant that we denote by capital r and sorry this we denote by capital r u and this we denote by capital r and molecular mass is denoted by capital m 30th question according to dash dash law the density of two gases is dash dash proportional to their molecular mass if gases at same temperature and pressure this is very well known law that is Avogadro's law which gives the relation between the volume and number of molecules of a gas so the answer for first uh, first fill in the blank is Avogadro and second it is directly proportional friends if you know the Avogadro's number please do write it in comment and let us see how many uh, correct answers we get 31st question machine which violates violates the first law of thermodynamics is known as perpetual motion machine of first kind it is also called as a PMM1 a machine which violates a second law of thermodynamics is known as a PMM2 32nd uh, 32 uh, question number the dash dash state states that the change in internal energy of perfect gas is directly proportional to change in temperature this law is nothing but Joule's law which is nothing but MCV delta T question number 33 temperature at which volume of gas becomes zero is called as absolute zero temperature question number 34 universal gas constant is 8.314 joule per mole uh, kelvin you can calculate this unit by uh, using our uh, characteristics equation pv is equal to nrt where n is the number of moles question number 35 when gas is heated change takes place in since they have not given any specific uh, process isobaric or isochoric so changes happens when we heat the gas in all the three fundamental quantities the thermodynamic properties of a system that is pressure volume and temperature question number 36 value of cp by cv for air is 1.4 uh, air is a uh, predominantly diatomic gas so the value is 1.4 for mono, mono atomic gas the value of adiabatic index will be equal to 1.66 cp by cv is is nothing but adiabatic index that we denote by gamma question number 37 when gas is cooled at constant pressure effect on volume temperature since the word cooled is used so obviously temperature will decrease and since temperature is decreasing and pressure is constant the volume should also decrease so answer is temperature and volume both will decrease question number 38 the pressure exerted by an ideal gas is dash dash of kinetic energy of all the molecules contained in the unit volume of gas this is two third answer is two by three uh, question number 39 reverse the joule cycle is bell coleman cycle joule cycle is also called as breton cycle reverse the joule cycle is called as a bell coleman cycle Question number 40, auto cycle consists of, this is a very simple question, auto cycle consists of two isochoric, that is two constant volume process and two adiabatic processes. Question number 41, the efficiency of Carnot cycle is increased by, efficiency of Carnot cycle is equal to 1 minus T minimum by T maximum, where efficiency can be increased by decreasing T minimum or by increasing T maximum. But if the choice between the t minimum t maximum has to made we can always increase the Carnot efficiency by increasing the highest temperature uh, in a better way than decreasing the lowest temperature question number 42 there is a loss of heat in irreversible process yes there is a loss of heat because a 
uh, friction present in any process we call it as irreversible process and due to friction heat will generate and that will get loss so loss of heat in irreversible, irreversible process is correct statement question number 43 the smallest quantity of substance which can exist by itself in chemically recognizable form is known as element question number 44 atomic mass of oxygen is 16 atomic mass is nothing but addition of masses of proton electron and neutron mass of electron is very small so we generally don't take into account for calculation of atomic mass but atomic mass of sorry mass of proton and neutron are considerably higher the relation between masses of proton and electron is electron is 1000 times uh, less mass than the proton so atomic mass is nothing but mass of proton plus mass of neutron uh, since mass of uh, there is there is no big difference between mass of proton and neutron so you can multiply uh, uh, two times of mass of proton is equal to atomic mass of a any element Question number 45, the CP is dash dash that CV. CP is always greater than CV because CP is a specific heat at constant pressure and CV is specific heat at constant volume. Understand, specific heat at constant pressure is nothing but amount of heat required to raise the temperature of gas by unit degree at constant pressure. That means to maintain the pressure constant, the uh, amount of heat supplied has to do some external work also that is not the case for constant volume because volume is constant so there is a no a point of uh, having an external work so uh, the amount of heat required for cp is always greater than the amount of heat required for constant cv question number 46 the first law of thermodynamics deals with conservation of energy the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed and so on the second law of thermodynamics deals with the entropy Question number 47, unit of power, answer is watt, unit of power, power is nothing but rate of doing work, that is joule per second, which is equal to watt, or joule is equal to newton per meter, newton meter, so power is equal to newton meter per second. Uh, this is question number 48, specific volume is dash dash property, it is a intensive property, volume is actually extensive property, but any extensive property, if you add word specific, that is divided by mass, then it will become a intensive property because any extensive property divided by mass it becomes intensive property question number 49 area under the temperature entropy diagram represents heat transfer that may be heat gain or heat loss that is termed as heat transfer so area under the ts diagram represents heat transfer area under the pv diagram represents work done or work transfer a question number 50 last question the change of entropy when heat is removed from the gas is negative that means the entropy will decrease if we take out the heat friends this was this this are the, these are all the uh, 50 questions that i have taken i will continue this series if you are not subscribed this channel please do subscribe for all uh, upcoming videos thank you